Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard equation. A log equation, you may call it linear and a log equation. Anyways, it's a mixture. So when you have an equation like this, you can use trial and error. X equals 1. Nope, it's not going to work. X equals 0, not in the domain. X equals E. No, it's not going to work. So guess and check did not work here right away. This is non-standard, so we got to do something special. Let's go ahead and add x to both sides. So we get ln x plus x equals 1 half. So we're going to be doing something very special here. And I'm going to introduce, and I've done a little bit of this before. We did a differential equation. If you remember, uh, the result was associated with the stuff that we're going to, we're going to talk about. Anyways, so here's what we're going to do to get rid of the ln. We're going to do e to the power of both sides. So e to the power ln x plus x equals e to the power 1 half. And then we can go ahead and separate these, e to the ln x times e to the x using properties of exponents. Remember, a to the power n plus k is a to the n times a to the k and vice versa. So we can also combine them, right? Separate or combine. So this equals e to the power 1 half, which can also be written as square root of e. Great. Now, what is e to the power ln x? It's equal to x, right? By definition, this is x. So from here, we get something super duper special. So we get x times e to the power x equals square root of, square root of e. I know what you're thinking at this moment, but I'm not going to name it yet. But... My question would be, does this look familiar to you? If you said yes, you must be familiar with the W. What is W? W is Lambert's W function, a.k.a. product log. In other words, it's the inverse function for f of x equals x to the power, x times e to the x. So the inverse of this function is the Lambert's W function. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. So as a general principle, if you see x multiplied by e to the x, then you can W both sides and you'll end up with x. So by definition, W x e to the x equals x. Make sense? When you switch the x and the x e to the x, you'll see that the inverse of the Lambert's function is going to be uh, x, the identity. Uh, anyways, not the identity, but you know, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. I'm confusing myself here. Anyway, so we have to satisfy this property with this function. So it would make sense when you get an equation like this to W both sides. So if you W the left hand side and W the right hand side, you're going to get this equality. Obviously with functions, if you have A equals B, then f of a always equals f of b. This is needed for the well-definedness of functions. The uh, opposite direction is not always true because our function may not be 1 to 1. Make sense? Okay, but if a and b are equal, then their images will also be equal. So from here we get something nice. x equals the Lambert's w of square root of e. Now, how are we going to evaluate this? You can use a calculator, obviously, um, if you were evaluating something like w e times e to the power e, then this would be easy because you could say, hey, this is equal to e by definition. But uh, in this case, it's not that easy, so we have to go with a numerical value. So using a calculator like Wolfram Alpha, we get the following. For the product log is another name for uh, Lambert's W function. That's how Wolfram Alpha interpret it. If you put, um, I don't, I haven't tried actually Lambert's W. I just tried W. It didn't work. But product log always works. Product log of square root of e in this case is a number that's about 0 0.7662486081617503. So on and so forth. You get the idea. So that's going to be the answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and we'll just finish up. So the graph of two functions, ln x 
and one half minus x. Like I said earlier, this is a non-standard equation, so you can't analytically solve it except for using the Lambert's W function if you count that as an analytical method. But we still get an approximate value and numerical value. The only way to express this exactly is write it as Lambert or W of square root of E. That's a, actually what it is. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video, probably in one hour. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.